we will actually fix and address one of the biggest conflicts in federal law this country has seen. That's Republican Colorado Senator Cory Gardner on new legislation he introduced today on Capitol Hill. The States Act would amend the Controlled Substances Act and protect people complying with state cannabis laws from any kind of federal intervention. Democrats Senator Michael Bennett and Representative Ed Perlmuter also co-sponsors on that bill. Back here at home, the Secretary of State's office just approved a petition to recall Democratic State Representative Rochelle Galindo of Greeley. Petitioners now have until June 3rd to collect more than 5,600 votes. Her critics have taken issue with several of her votes, including on oil and gas regulations, sex education, and the National Popular Vote Compact. This is her first term in office. She beat her opponent in November by just more than 1,500 votes. The Equal Pay for Equal Work Act we've been following has just passed the Senate. The bill would allow employers, employees rather, to take employers to court over pay concerns and be eligible for back pay up to three years. And employers would not be able to ask what you're making while applying for a job. This bill now headed to the House. Governor Jared Polis introducing legislation or a plan, I should say, today. He says we'll cut down on patient costs and improve the state's health care system. It's called the Polis Primavera Roadmap to saving Colorado's mo Coloradans money on health care. News Science Laura Wilson in studio tonight with a breakdown. Laura. Well, the number of uninsured people here in Colorado has dropped about 7% since 2013. Now, Governor Polis says that's certainly improvement, but also said today that the cost of care has increased at an alarming rate. Governor Jared Polis says his roadmap to a better health care system is already underway with the recent signing of the hospital transparency bill into law. The very first piece of our roadmap to saving people money on health care. He's voiced support for nearly a dozen other bills, which fall in line with his short-term goals. Things like lowering the cost of prescription drugs and reducing both premiums and out-of-pocket costs. Like preventing surprise out-of-network billing. This is where somebody might have a bruise or a dog bite and go in and get a band-aid or a stitch and wind up with an $8,000 bill. Long-term goals include launching a state-backed insurance and rewarding prevention in primary care. As you roll all of this out, all of a sudden you have all these new, new people in the system. So at least in the first two to three years, you're going to have an increase in costs. Economist Tatiana Bailey doesn't believe those costs will be a big issue for Colorado, considering only 6.5% of the state's population are uninsured. But it still raises two big questions. How much will this cost? And who pays for it? I'd like to see it line by line. Uh, you know, if we're going to increase this type of screening for everyone, well, how much of that is covered and how much isn't? The roadmap doesn't have those figures just yet, but it does say it will lower the cost of health insurance in Colorado, estimating up to a 40% reduction for those living in rural and front range counties. And that 10 page roadmap is available online. If you want to take a look, just head to our website, koaa.com, for a direct link. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado, Laura Wilson, News 5. Laura, thanks. Well,